destroyed This means the veto is no longer valid and our ancient war can resume again And this time nothing and no one will be able to stop us I and my angelic hosts look forward to erasing every trace of you pathetic devils <laughs> You're wrong my demonic host will triumph we will crush you angels like the irritating little winged insects that you are. Hey, you two. Huh? Hmm. Don't you think you're overlooking a little something? How dare you look to us for help after failing in your mission? I haven't failed at anything. You said you wanted the Libra destroyed, right? Well, now it's destroyed. And if you're successful at all, it's thanks to me. And now I expect you to give me my reward. <laughs> Settle down, Cabral. You're going to need to conserve your energy for when you have to face me on the battlefield. A deal is a deal, and General Cassidy always keeps her word. Oh. Oh. Finally, my people will get what they deserve. And with the key, our business is finally concluded. What are you going to do with those two? We have no use for them now. You're not just going to abandon them. Why not? You've got something against that. Or do I have to remind you that it was you who defeated Sulphus? No, he's not important to me. I'm certain my people are waiting. Goodbye. I think it's time we say goodbye. But not for long, Kural. I'll see you soon, worthy opponent. On the battlefield. <laughs> Raph, Sulphus, wake up, as I have. I can't take it anymore. We've been waiting for hours and it's almost done. And nobody's offered to go get some takeout. It's not food that mm -hmm. she's worried about, you she's idiot. She's referring to our friend Raph. And our friend Sulphus. Yeah, him too. Shouldn't they have been back by now? We should do something. Don't you agree with me? This'll be a shock, but I'll say for once, we agree. Huh. <laughs> What in heaven happened to Raph? She's just... Give her to me. It's your fault. You took her in your arms. You broke the veto. You're wrong, <gasps> everlasting ones. The veto no longer exists. Huh? And who are you? She's Angelie, Raph's mother. An earthly one. In a sense, that's right. But how is it you could see us? Yeah, and what's all this about the veto not existing? If you don't believe me, why not just go take a look for yourself? <gasps> go ahead. Whoa, hey! What are you doing, huh? Seeing what happens when I touch you. <gasps> uh -huh. So, Mickey? It... 
It was disgusting. But nothing happened at all. Wow, it is gone! Unfortunately, the Libra of the Veto was destroyed. Okay, enough talk. Raph needs help. I don't feel well either. Come on, we've got to get her to the infirmary. <gasps> She's waking up. Uh, Solfus, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Easy. What? What happened to us? You'll soon uh, remember everything. Hmm? <sighs> mm. My little girl. I cannot believe it. After all these years, we're back mm. together again. <gasps> hey, you're mm. almost as loud as a tractor. Mm. Cut it out, Gas. I can't help it. I'm a big guy. And now that I think of it, just because the veto's gone doesn't mean you can elbow me anytime mm. you want. Now that you're free, it's all over. That's huh? where you're wrong, Raph. Huh? This is only the beginning. Professor Arkin! Professor Temtel! I missed you! Down, boy, no drooling. Uh -huh. We arrived as soon as possible. To replace those two crafty imposters. Huh? What are you talking about? Castody and Cabral. Huh? The very same. You mean our principles? Uh? It's not possible! Oh, but I'm afraid that it is sweet. Cassidy and Kubral have been plotting against Wrath and Sulphus. But... but why? So they could destroy the Libra of the Veto and resume their never-ending battle. You <gasps> see, Wrath, they never accepted the truce between angels and devils when it was signed during the first passing of the Comet of Destiny. And ever since they were removed from their hosts, they've done everything they could to start another war. That's why I was kidnapped when you were just a little child, my darling. Huh? <sighs> but what do you have to do with the war between <sighs> angels and devils? Exactly. What would they need you for? It's not an easy thing to explain. But perhaps it has to do with your... powers. Exactly. You are a seer, Angelie. And your extraordinary gifts don't end there, do they? Mom, explain it to us. It's important. All right. But some things are still unclear to me. I'll try. Well, it's a little unclear to us, too. <laughs> it's just that I... I always knew I had some special gifts. Among them is the ability to resolve stubborn conflicts, to heal wounds that are painful and dangerous to the soul. It seems I always had this gift. Even though I never spoke of such things, word soon spread, and everyone came to know of my powers, whether I liked it or not. Whenever there was a conflict, people would ask for my advice. In any case, the reigning king turned to me, a simple woman, in an effort to avoid a bloody and terrible war. Loud dog! <clears throat> they knew that my opinions would be just, balancing the rights and wrongs, so that everyone could live peacefully. Well at least respect each other's positions. Unfortunately, the rulers in town weren't the only ones who had noticed my powers. That woman, Angeli, must be very special. The good rulers of her land seem to do anything she tells them to do. The same can be said for the evil rulers. Without surrendering to their dark side, they seem to be avoiding possible wars on Earth. I do not care for the wars of the land. I care more for our battle. If we had not been interrupted, I'd have defeated you by now and led the angelic host to victory. Kubral, you know I'm right. <laughs> You're deluded. Do you really think an angel has what it takes to be victorious in the eternal battle? It is only the truly evil ruler of all time and all peoples who will triumph. It's useless to discuss this now. We should just focus on destroying the veto. For once, we agree, Angel. So what if Angeli just disappears? Huh? Disappeared? Very, uh, suddenly. We do it? Um, of course. Uh -huh. That woman is very important to both angels and devils, right? So what? Think about it, Cabral. If Angeli disappears, the angels would accuse the devils of kidnapping her. <laughs> and the devils would think that the angels had done it. Of course. A terrible fight would break out. Large enough to cause a big war. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> and so, Cassidy and Kubral's words were made manifest. So 
then, it was Cassidy and Cabral who kidnapped you. Incredible! What could have driven them so far? This is not merely evil, it's worse. They wanted to start a war, and they almost succeeded. Return Angelique to her family! We will not get away with this! We will never let you win! No! It was you who kidnapped Angelique! If it's a war you want, we'll give it to you! Yeah! But just when it looked like the truce was going to be broken, the Libra of the Vito spread its power all throughout creation, and the angelic and demonic hosts retreated without a fight. Uh. Uh. Wait! Come back! We almost did it! We were thwarted because of that Libra! And so... It was then that the two generals realized that in order to restart the war, they'd have to destroy the Libra of the Veto. And to do that, they used my explosion star, Angelica. You did not have a choice, Raph. It's not your fault. Yeah. If it hadn't been for you, those two would have killed me. So now what? What's gonna happen next? Without the veto in place, the angelic and demonic hosts will surely clash again. It will be the apocalypse. But that's senseless! They've already clashed in the past, and one side couldn't defeat the other. That's why the higher-ups had to sign the veto in the first place, no? No, you dope. They did so because they were afraid that the Comet of Fate would decide the winner, and that the loser would simply disappear forever. Exactly right. And that's what's going to happen because the Comet of Fate is coming closer to the atmosphere. Huh? So what you're saying is... If the Devils happen to be triumphant, the Angels would disappear. But on the other hand, if the Angels won... If the Angels were to prevail in the battle, what would happen to the Devils? The Devils would simply be lost forever. But in either case, the defeated faction would be the Earthly Ones, who would be forced to be completely good, or totally evil, regardless huh? of their own wishes. They would no longer have any free will. Their fate was decided. We can't let them! There has to be a way that we can prevent such a catastrophe! Unfortunately, huh? there is no way. Moment to grow.